talking what to do. Right, go. He says, Mother, I will try to explain in brief what I am feeling. My verbal articulation has been shot down over decades by others by a suppression of my voice, usually limiting it to just a few sentences in person. It is thus easier for me to explain in electronic words. I am slightly depressed because of the stuff related to the rejection factor, a.k.a. rejection of Gabriel. It is literally so complex I need to explain how it works soon on paper. Trust me, it's extremely vast and complex and nobody yet knows of the details other than me. You will be shocked and without a doubt is a remarkable yet sad miracle since the rejection is angelic related. Despite the complexity, it remains invisible to others. Reflective of the invisible to the senses nature of angel. Example, the accumulative effect of my rejection remains unseen and ignored by others. The anxiety it creates for me during and after the shifting me instantly into a depowering mode. Others assuming they, assuming they know how I function or should be functioning or giving the solutions I supposedly need or assuming I am needing their solutions. But never knowing the facts or details from me as the person and the working against me of my goals and pro productivity so much more, all invisible. And if confronted to others, it becomes rejected, debated, assumed, I am in error or wrong or shouldn't be feeling a certain way, thus more layers of rejection. Besides rejection stuff that happened yesterday, again, which is too tricky to explain, more important is the angel Gabriel factor, be it real, proxy or channeling. I need to be trusted 1000%, but more so with authority, full cooperation during the event and encouragement slash support. But key is in the form as I need it and require it not of what others assume I need. That is the missing key. In the past years, this never occurs simply because nobody takes the time to listen and learn from me, thus thwarts the full potential of me, thus depowers, not empowers me. It thwarts my work to a huge degree, with or without anybody believing that is true, and totally destroys my confidence, stamina, energy, sleep and calmness. I can barely relax since a video was uploaded of me when it was agreed multiple times that I don't have to be on video if I don't want to be. Want to. I only have a few minor must-have limits, which if not met, literally bogs me down, also known as being only able to work within my limitations, as you stated that the saints can only work within their means and abilities. When my limits are broken, severe anxiety enters me, extremely severe, and creates a horrible triple effect. Here are my main concerns. A. I do not want to be filmed, repeated so many times, I understand what you said about documenting everything, and it is not me not understanding that it is me stating that I can only function within my limits and I do not like to be filmed, not even by accident. I don't want to be online. All of this <coughs> okay, is... Okay, fair enough. Uh, he's sacked. Hmm? He's gone. He's telling me what to do. Yeah, see you later. Don't need him. Is he telling me what to do? He's telling me I can't film him. It's the greatest event in history, and he doesn't want to be on film. He has to have certain regulations. I have agreed to, I haven't agreed to any of them. I don't agree to nothing. You do it my way, or it's highway. So for him, highway, send it back to him. So you're sacked. Make arrangements to get out of Canada, back to Canada. No explanation, just say he's gone. The audacity. If you tell me not to film it. <laughs> just, I just wanted you to hear it. Well, well, well I don't have to hear any more. Oh, okay. He's fired.
You can move into um, Fugani until his air ticket is changed. I don't want to hear another word from him. The utter audacity of being with us, the greatest event in history, and he's making orders what's got to be done with them. Hasta la vista, Belzebub. Okay. Make arrangements to go in to your friend Pagani and then make arrangements to go back to Canada. Do what? Go back to Canada. Make arrangements. Me? You. No discussion. I so I just read what your demands are. You're out of here, son. Well, I didn't mean in the van. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You're out of here. Okay. I didn't mean to offend you. Yes. Well, you have utterly. This is the greatest moment in history, and you're telling me your demands. Fuck you. Go back to Canada. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Go to Canada. I've had enough of you. Rick Pagami, come and help me get you. You do not tell the Almighty what to do. Finish. Right? Finish. It's upsetting you, right? Finish. Nothing upsets you. It's away with it. <clears throat> okay.